Okay, warm welcome to the hands-on session for the prime taper implant, uh, the surgical procedures. What we will handle during this session is the tray, the surgical tray, including a set of drills and implant driver, tap, direction indicator, etc. Uh, and we will also use this unit, the implant thousand, uh, with some pre-settings that I will go through later, together with the handpiece. And also the drill jaw that we will handle as the patient. Okay, so first the unit and uh, the pre-settings. And right now you see that it's on 1500 RPMs, which is the maximum uh, uh, value for, for the drilling. And then we have the 45 Newton centimeter as the max for installation torque of the implant. And finally, we also have the 25 RPM for the tap, which we will show you later. And uh, coming to the tray, we will uh, just in a minute start to look into how to manage that one. All right, and uh, so let's uh, start with the drilling. And we are going to use the 4.2 prime taper implant, 11 millimeter. And for that, you need uh, a sequence as uh, here on this tray table, which is drill number one, three, four, and uh, final number five for the final cortical preparation. So, Let's start. I take out drill number one. And I find a point on my uh, drill jaw, which is convenient and easy to drill at. And that is between premolar and molar area. So I point my first drill number one in this direction and start drilling. Then I want to check my angulation, so I use the direction indicator and place that in the osteotomy and see that I have a good relation towards the bone and the anatomy. I continue with drill number three. Same depth, 11 millimeter. And I check again with the other end of the direction indicator to see that I follow my route into the bone. And I go to full depth with drill number four. The final full depth preparation. And now I also want to check that I have my full depth preparation. So I use the depth gauge and put it on the side of the osteotomy and look so that I am in level with 11 millimeters. Finally, drill number five. And this drill I use as a, only for the cortical bone preparation. So I will only go down to two millimeters. And you can say that this is actually a cortical drill in this case. And that is the drill procedure. As an optional to the conventional drill sequence, there is also a, a tap to be used. 
the prime taper tap. Uh, and to use that, you have to uh, adjust your unit. Uh, so it goes on a very slow rotation to 25 RPMs. And let's look how we do this. So I take the tap and put it into the handpiece. And I place it at the top of the osteotomy. And we know now that this bone density of this drill jaw is not very, very dense, but it's actually a medium uh, quality. So just to show that this can be used in a hands-on sequence. You can go very slowly. And then you reverse, pushing the jello button on the pedal. And then back out. And then you have expanded the cortical part of the osteotomy. And then you can insert the implant. Okay, so now we've done the drilling and it's time for the implantation, the implant placement. And then you need an implant uh, that we are going to use. And I again remind you that it's an 11 millimeter prime taper implant, 4.2 millimeter in diameter. And we have to put the unit on 45 Newton centimeters here, and we're going to use the handpiece again, together with the driver. I remove the lid from the implant canister or package and I press down my driver into the implant carefully and remove the package and place the implant in the osteotomy and start And when I have approximately one to two millimeters left, I remove the implant driver from the handpiece. I go down to the first layer of the tray, look for the surgical handle, put them together like that, so that the jello marking is all the way in to the surgical driver handle. I also take out my torque wrench and put them together like that. Put it back into the implant perpendicular carefully and do the final installation by hand with manual. And here I can also follow the torque value and how high I get by looking onto the scale that I have here on my torque wrench. I reach approximately 35, a little bit more maybe. I shake that I am in bone level, flush with the bone. I have to adjust a little bit more. Take maybe one full turn. And then I'm happy. Put back my surgical driver handle, my torque wrench, put back the upper layer and place my driver. And here is the implant in place.
So this is it for the prime taper implant and the surgical hands-on procedure.